Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Uh, are you telling me that you built a time machine? Out of a DeLorean? Hey everybody, this is Tambiota and you're watching The Daily Review. So today is Back to the Future Friday and uh, we have a Eagle Moss Presents build a Back to the Future DeLorean. We're going to start with issue number one. So here is uh, what you get with issue number one. So you have all of these pieces, part of your bumper, part of the back end, part of the bumper, and then um, you have uh, the right tail light. Oh, this is this is the uh, I think this is the lights for the um, for the um, what is that for the license plate? Uh -oh. Okay, sorry, I had to uh, adjust the camera. It's a little too bright. See, this still looks a little too bright. I don't know what's going. Okay, that's a little bit better. Okay, as I was saying, this is uh, well, what you get in that set, uh, in that, that first issue. Uh, you definitely get a screwdriver and definitely going to need that. So let's go ahead and start putting this guy together because I'm very interested in getting this started. So uh, here is the magazine. I guess I should have went through the magazine and kind of read it first before uh, before starting this, but uh, I, I, I looked through everything and kind of um, just eyeballed it a little bit. Uh, I know that I looked at the, uh, you have your instructions here. Oh, that's the plate holder, okay. Okay, I hadn't looked at this before. Um, so you got uh, you got different things in here. That's it's it's kind of good to know. I was uh, wondering about some of that stuff. So all right, so these are the instructions right here. Um, I don't know how I'm really gonna do this. I don't know how I'm gonna show the instructions. And I, I know that some people have. Uh, taking pictures of the instructions and pop those up on the screen. I don't do a lot of editing like that anymore. Um, and I can't really, I don't really have that kind of functionality with my, uh, with my camera. So, um, so it looks like this right here is uh, writing the script. So the story is about uh, them writing the script. I really should have read this before and I could have told you all about it. I, I think, uh, I think I could have, done a little better uh, at preparing myself but so this is uh this is writing the script this is some uh um some different movies that were released before back to the future that had to do with time travel it looks like they've already written two of these movies were already about uh uh were from um bob zemeckis or rob zemeckis and bob uh, Bob Gale. I wonder if they're any good. So, I Want to Hold Your Hand, uh, which was written in uh, 1978 and used cars in 1980. Uh, so here are some of the concept art for the, uh, the DeLorean time machine. I'll have to I'll have to read these later and then maybe do a synopsis of each issue. So this is uh, basically the next issue. This is it says published weekly, but it's um, it's I think all of it's already come out. I, I've seen people do the builds and stuff, and this is the next week's issue. Um, so 
So let's uh, do this. I'll probably put this up here. I need to figure out a good way to uh, to put everything in frame. <clears throat> okay, let's uh, go ahead and get this party started. Let's move this back a little bit. I need I need access to one of my drawers. This is what I'm looking for because I have stickers that I need. Uh, okay. So let's go ahead and I'm going to lower this down. I don't know how I want to open this. Um, it's clearly down here in the corner. It's already kind of coming apart. It looks like uh, some of the... Uh, uh, the originals when they first released it uh, they had a flap type thing that had the issue in it and everything and it all kind of closed in together and it looks like that that's what they took this from because it looked like it was glued on something and they just ripped it off doesn't really do anything, it just helps get the process started so that I can rip this off. Okay, I need to figure out a format to these. So we're not spending 10 or 15 minutes on um, opening package. Okay, so here are all of the pieces. Let's, uh, these are the screws. So we have the BPs and the APs. So we'll go ahead and set these off to the side. These are the, uh, the registration stickers. And then we have all of this other stuff. So let's go ahead and looks like we need the bumper. No, so we need this piece right here. Um, it's part of the lower bumper, I, I assume. So this is gonna be right here. Oh my, this is die cast metal right here. This is very heavy. This is die cast metal right here. Oh wow. I wasn't expecting that, uh, That's that's really heavy. So, so you're going to take and put these together. The screwdriver feels very nice. So, um, what do we need? We need BPs. So we need four BPs. And from what I understand is they give you extra, um, extra screws but I've heard that sometimes you need those extra screws in other sets so um, it's probably best to hang on to what you get just in case you're having to pull something apart and you need an extra screw so um, if I'd set those off to the side keep that Okay, so the BPs, 
the BPs are gonna go doesn't feel like it's threaded it doesn't feel like the plastic is threaded so I'm kind of kind of leery on that because you don't want to strip plastic so the first screw that I put in it felt like um, like it was screwed in all the way but then when I put the second screw in it uh, it tightened up, so um, then I went back to that first screw and then retightened that screw back up again. So I'm just gonna recheck all of these, just make sure that it's nice and snug without stripping the plastic or stripping the head. Uh, okay, cool. It's nice. It's, it looks really nice. Okay, so next uh, we're gonna set this off to the side, and we need the uh, the little light grill right here. So I've been told, um, or I've seen that uh, one of the pieces in here is a little. Uh, uh, you have to make sure that you orientate it right because there's a, a very very small DMP on there. So you want to take this triangle, put this here. And the piece that I'm talking about is this piece right here. So if you look, I don't know if you'll be able to see this. But you can see where my thumb is. There's a very small DMP on there. Or, sorry, not DMP, DMC. There's a very, very small DMC right there. So you want to make sure that you put this on correctly. So there's a way to tell. And you want to look at the way that the instructions are. Um, so the instructions will show that there's no ridge here and there's a ridge right here. So you just want to pay attention to that. And you'll just put that just like this. So if you have that on, then you have this piece right here. in there just making sure it's not too bright um, okay the next piece is going to be this little white piece right here and So the edge will go to the outside on that. All right, and see then once you have that on, then you need to take and attach it to this. So the best way that I've seen to do this is actually flip it upside down so that uh, so that you can take this gonna you, you should see it slide in so you'll take and slide that in there and then there's gonna be a screw that screws in right here so that's a uh, that's another BP
that's locked into place. So uh, the instructions say that these pieces are the brake light. This is the rear light. Uh, so I guess that's reverse. Uh, this is the turn indicator and this is the, no, this is the reversing light. So rear light. Maybe this is just the light that's on all the time. I don't know. Hmm. All right, so it shows that you're gonna put another screw right here. I uh, don't think that that's actually gonna go in just yet because you need to have your other your other rear light indicator in there. All right, I guess this is where the light bulbs go, right here, and your turn signal right here. Is this anything? Yeah, that's okay. Whew. This is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be one mad build. So. Um, that let's go to the next page okay so the next thing is going to be the license plate so this is uh this is plastic this is a plastic license plate so. okay so we have the license plate we have to put the stickers on there um oh man okay well it looks like we get two of each. So if we mess up, we get a second shot. Let's see. I don't know. Oh, that stinks. So if you look at it, uh, this sticker right here, you can see it says AUG. Uh, it says in red, it says AUG. And that's supposed to be the month, but it's in the middle of the, uh, of the cut. So I don't know. Yeah, it's already something messed up with mine. So I don't know if that's something that I'm gonna be able to get uh, get fixed. So hopefully, hopefully I can um, get with somebody from customer service. I hear customer service really stinks on these. I hear it's really bad. I hope not. So hopefully I can get in, in touch with somebody. Maybe get a, uh, a replacement sticker set. So the one that I can use right now, I can't use this one. They didn't label them. Um, okay, so the AUG goes above the O and put the AUG sticker above the O on the number uh, license plate and attach the other on the opposite corner. So this one right here this, this California 86 one will have to go uh, right here. So, so what I'm going to do is a little trick that I learned from Gundam building. Should, should be good now. So I just need to see if I can get another AU sticker for the month, month of August. Yeah, that's my son in the background. All right, so next, um, okay, so we need the license plate holder. So the license plate holder here, uh, that looks like everything was on there correct. So we just go like this. Oh man, this is gonna be a, this is gonna be trouble. So um, which ones do I need? AP, so we need two APs.
So my wife told me that, uh, you know, go ahead and uh, do your video. I'll watch Lukey, uh, our son, and because um, I was going to put him to sleep, but um, he seems to be walking around making noises. He's talking about his, uh, he, he loves watching Curious George, and that's what he's he's saying. He's saying all the names, Georgie, Christmas, because there's a Christmas one that he likes to watch. And that's what he's saying. So he's saying Ted, Georgie, Christmas. Um, so this goes on here. Doesn't seem like it fits very well. AP, so two more APs. be dark I'm sorry about that I might have to get a, uh, a different color backing for these so you're probably just seeing me what looks like screwing just nothing and nothing stays okay all right so now that we have that it says to attach the bumper section so that's weird okay so there's this this section we got to bring this back in and this oh it just clips on where then what is that for okay what are these for then I got to pry this apart later on. So this goes, and then you clip this in. clip this in for no good reason right now there's probably something else that this attaches to through these these three right here so I'm probably have to pull this off again and then screw in something later on so uh, yeah I think that that is almost it uh, yeah it, it tells me not to put this on yet because or it's not telling me not to put it on yet it's just I know not to put this on because if you take a look at this, it covers up. It covers up all of this. And it, yeah, it screws in. So yeah, it covers up everything on this side. So when we come back next week. Oh, come on. At least you can take the uh, license plate off without removing this. Okay, there we go. All right, so when we come back next week, um, we'll finish putting this light on.
and um, yeah we'll finish putting this light on I don't know if I'm gonna just put that sticker on anyways because uh, it looks a little weird without that uh, without that sparkly on that side so uh, yeah like I said we'll come back next week we'll put in this piece right here and uh, we'll build part of the frame for some reason or part of the uh, side panel so all right, we'll look, look forward to that. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, uh, please uh, give me a, uh, a like or a thumbs up. <laughs> or like a lot of people say that I've, uh, that I've been watching, uh, go ahead and drop a like for me. That would be awesome. So once again, thanks for watching. This is Tambiota, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.